Oh boy. Okay. This is tricky. Connect. Phantom arrow. Okay. That worked out pretty well. Hey, I'm Jordan, the creator of Spell Masons, and this is another Let's Play. Let's get into it. Start with Target Cone, Phantom Arrow, and Rend. Not a bad starting hand. And let's grab Pull. The thing I like about Pull is you can pull enemies through you, not just to you. And uh, that results in some really interesting strategies. Already making good use of Phantom Arrow. Let's see what we got before we spawn. Contaminate. I don't have any curses yet. I kind of want to use that later, though. It's rare, so I'm going to grab that right now. And this might be a mistake, but yeah, I can hit them all. And it is a mistake because I don't have enough mana. Although I can use Phantom Arrow to great effect. And let's do what I just said, and pull this guy through the water. Love it. Crushing it. I'm gonna use Death Wager. So Death Wager is a spell that resets the cooldown on all of your spells. They get more expensive as you use them, and they cool down over time. And it used to permanently decrease your max health. And now it just sets your current health to one instead of decreasing your max health. Um, and the reason I changed it is because nobody used it, because nobody wants to lose max health, which is understandable. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm going to have to be satisfied with this. Yeah, so now I think that Death Wager is much more... Um, compelling to use. Lots of explosive barrels is going to make four really great target arrows. And when combined with target cone, look at that. Let's see if we can do any better. I guess we'll just stick with that. Sweet. Oh, I must have picked up stamina at some point without realizing it. Yeah, let's grab connect. Perfect. Oh, all it takes is one target arrow because there's so many of them. Arrows and targeting spells mix very, very well because it increases the number of arrows that are shot. Let's see what runes we have. Love Plague Bringer. Love Inflict Poison. Let's do Inflict Poison because of I've already got an arrow spell. And those go really well together. An on kill resurrect is a favorite. But let's really put a lot into Inflict Poison. Yeah. How are we gonna do this? Let's start by taking out this Blood Golem. And then let's poison some dudes. Oh yeah, so Bone Shrapnel is going to be fantastic because of Inflict Poison. That's just going to be brutal. Anybody near a corpse, when I explode the corpse, is going to take poison damage. So like, let's put this on this one. 
I mean, that's just gonna kill that guy, but... That is such a cool spell, such an underrated spell. Wow, this build is turning out to be surprisingly good. Okay. I do have to be careful now, because these guys are starting to have fairly high health. So let me do this. Let me pull, and then target... No, 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 no. Okay. I just want to group these guys together. This may have been a mistake. I don't have any movement spells. Oh no. Okay. This may have been a mistake. Let's get myself some more options. <laughs> Am I gonna die here? And I was just saying what a good build it was. I can't move myself. I think I'm dead. Oh my gosh. Okay, except, except, I have... Let's see. I could try putting points in stamina. I can inflict them with poison. Let's start with that. I wish I had Purify. I could remove their blood curse. Alright. I think this is my only hope. so close and I don't want to go up there okay that is so ridiculously close to the end of his range okay he does 40 damage so I, I'll survive because these guys only do three I thought I was dead meat and he'll blood curse me sweet okay so I have to make sure not to touch any health potions because I am blood cursed oh look at that look at that what a phantom arrow that was. Purify, hey. Okay. If I do this... Okay, it's not going to change their health. And they're dead next turn anyway. So... Let's grab these. I really need some spells that can move me. Let's hit you with another... Uh, I can't yet. Okay. I mean, my poison is going to do work here, so... I can't believe I almost lost this one. Um, I think I need to use this portal. And this trap does 30 damage, so I'm actually just going to go right... Okay, sweet. I missed the trap. I can't get to it, but I can pull it to me. Which is then going to teleport me up there. And I took a little bit of damage because I'm blood cursed, which is fine. And then this guy's gonna die of poison. And his defiance means nothing. 2%. Sweet. Whew, I thought I was dead. Okay. I need some cheaper arrow spells. Phantom arrow is too expensive. All right, this is tricky. We have a priest champion with unstable, which means he's gonna be teleporting all over the place and rezzing dudes, which I cannot have. So I have to deal with him first. Okay. And I'm actually, rather than doing a bunch of rend, I'm gonna cast them individually because that's gonna stack more poison. So a little trick to how poison on damage works. The rend is doing less damage because it's not stacked, but it's adding a ton of poison, so he's going to die next turn from the poison. I really need some more damage spells. This guy's also going to die next turn from the poison. Summoner's doing his thing up there. to get somewhere where neither of these guys can hit me. 
I gotta watch out for this priest. Let's make sure he's poisoned. Let's, um... Let's grab some more Onkill Resurrect and start building that out. And what do we got? I am actually going to pick Revitalize because I need more emergency movement. save Endless Quiver, because that's going to go really well with my poison build. <laughs> I love Rune so much. Hey, got my first res. So, On Kill Resurrect works with Inflict Poison. Oh sweet, got the summoner on my own. All right, I'm gonna let my minions finish this. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, that turned the tides really quickly. Okay. Let's try the trick that I did with the uh, vampires, but this time, I am going to make sure that I have enough mana to pull this off. Okay. So I think this will poison them enough to kill them. And they won't be able to summon yet, so I'm gonna have a little corner of summoners. Oh, this is so sick. All right, they're teleporting away from me, which is fine, because they're summoners. Oh, I, I, I forgot. It, they're not going to res automatically, which is fine. It's fine. But let's make sure this guy can't... Ah, uh, he still is going to summon. Unless the poison procs before he gets the chance. I still am in this corner with these glops approaching. Okay. They've only got 80 health. So, let's see, how much damage do they do? 40 damage. Okay, I can sustain. Let's just make sure that they're dead. One of them will survive. Oh, nope, my golem got him. Time to use some Phantom Arrow. Thank you, everyone, for lining up for me. Can I... How do I hit the most of them? Yes! What a shot. Seriously, Phantom Arrow is so, so, so good. The fact that it has infinite pierce just makes it absolutely incomparable. Let's move closer. Love Revitalize. Such a good modded spell. I'm just gonna hit this guy once so that it poisons him. And I need to be poisoning these summoners. Let me see if I can thread this. Yes, I can! I can thread the walls. Let's go. This has got to be one of my favorite builds so far. I have Inflict Poison and Onkill Resurrect. Together, those are just so, so fun. Because I'm just hitting guys with my Phantom Arrow. It pierces, so it can hit many of them. And then the poison finishes him off. Okay. And I need to not forget about Bone Shrapnel. 
Maybe I should increase my cast range. That would help a lot. Okay, a green gro a green glop champion with unstable. This is tricky. Where do I spawn? How do I do this? There are lots of archers, so I'm going to pick this side. How much health do you have? 80 health. Okay, that means... Why did I think the poison would take care of this guy? Wait, you know what? That was a mistake, because he's going to deal a lot of damage to me. 40 damage. That was unwise. Why did I think that I could just wait that out? Can I push him far away where he can't hit me? Yes, I can. Man, such a small mistake. Okay. And he, <laughs> he teleported away, so that was actually good for me. Push, bone, shrapnel. And I don't have enough mana to do that again. I can't help it. I want more on kill resurrect. Let's put these next to each other. Push, bone, shrapnel. Still don't have enough mana. Okay. I wish I had Slash instead of Rend. That's the thing that- Oh! Oh, I got an on-kill Resurrect! Let's go! Green Glop on my side. And hide from that Archer. Yes! Uh. Hide in this little pocket. This definitely turned out to be the right corner to hide in. The unstable is actually doing me a lot of favors. Yeah, if I could change out slash for rend, that would be tight. Alright, I need to start getting some poison on this guy. Probably should have done that earlier, but it's all good because I am alive. Sweet. Oh, I'm surprised that I'm surviving this long. Oh, all I see is a corridor of guys to hit with phantom arrows. I kind of wish that I had endless quiver, that I could afford it, and I didn't save up for it. So let's put it all into mana. The smart move is probably to spawn in this room right here. But the tempting move is to hit all these guys. I just don't think that I can survive. There's too many dudes. So I am going to spawn over here. And I will at least hit both of these guys. And maybe this archer. Oh, I can get four of them. Sweet. And then finish this guy off. And they'll line up for me anyway. Oh, it's Goru. Okay. DK could be good, but I don't really have the range to make it useful. Okay, pacify. I'll take that. If I had target arrow, that would be game over for these guys. Yeah, this is sick though. Seriously, Phantom Arrow with uh, 
inflict poison means I can just poison multiple dudes at crazy range. Okay, what just happened? So I have a poisoner on my side now. Why is my cast range so small? that normal? <laughs> I'm unfortunately kind of stuck here in this corner, and I cannot afford for this champion to hit me once. Fortunately, I'm starting to get minions of my own. Gonna try to keep stacking poison on this guy. And Goru's starting to do his work. I am barely avoiding getting hit right now. These guys are gonna die from the poison. I poison Goru at least once. That's what I care about. Regenerates pretty good. I'm not gonna go with that. Teach is good. Holy shit! I think I need to get the hell out of here. And. I can do that by just rejuvenating myself all the way to this potion, hopefully. Oh my gosh. And then pulling, I barely made that, this to me, and teleporting to safety, because I do not like the look of that right there. At least he's poisoned. I'm gonna stack some more poison on him. Let's get some poison on these poisoners. It's such a scary feeling when you don't have any skill points. Hey, I got him! But he has undying, so he's gonna come back. start stacking some poison on this guy, so apologies to my ally, Blood Archer. I wish I had a regular arrow. I would be so much more deadly with a regular arrow spell. A little bit more poison for you. I have Death Wager. I absolutely need to be using Death Wager. Use it now. No, I still wouldn't have enough. It's co oh, it cost 40. Let's do it. Let's use Death Wager. So that's going to lower this from 80 back down to 40. I'll be able to cast it again. And now I can hide safely. Oh, and the Goru is mine! Yes! Let's bring this potion to us. GG, poisoners. 
Yeah. What were the chances of that? 20%. Who's left? Oh, okay, that was it. Holy shit! Level 11 is not gonna be kind. Let's just max this out so we can unlock it. nothing. Probably should have thought about that spawn point a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. He does 40 damage. He does 20 damage. I can pacify. They're just not grouped up very well. Four, two, nope, wrong one. Three, four, boom, boom, boom. Let's try that. And then hide. Teleport away, teleport away! It feels like I'm on the verge of death, but this phantom arrow is just absolutely saving me. And a quarter of these guys that I kill should be rezzing. These ancients might actually be the most dangerous thing on this map because they're able to hit me. Reflect could be cool. Displace, that could save me under the right circumstances. And I got a few allies now, finally. I am almost dead. Let's see where Displace will take me. I haven't been using bloat at all. Into the lava. Wait, why does it say 60 remaining? I think I'm gonna res myself if I kill myself here. All right. Uh, um. Let's see. So these guys each do three damage. take me now yes yes into all the health potions thank you i was gonna say am i actually gonna die to a bunch of ancients that would be hard to believe i'm not faring too well with the uh on kill resurrect you'd think there we go speak of the devil a blood archer champion with growth Okay, we've got Curse Immune. This seems like a good spot. Let's pull you through and then connect, connect, and then I can't do anything else. I can poison all of you. I need more mana. Oh, restore mana on kill. You know what? I'm gonna give up on Endless Quiver. How much mana? Only one mana. Not worth it right now. But it will be worth later. Alright. Pull. Connect. Connect. I need to think smaller. That was sick. That's what I'm talking about. Got a few guys in my corner. Okay. There's 
not a great time for the death mason to show up. Oh, he's target immune. Let's just get some poison on him. That blood archer has multi... Multi shot, so he is gonna hit me. Freeze could be really good. I need to make be making smarter decisions here, so I'm gonna go with freeze. Oh no! What happened? I died, but my guys are still fighting, and they didn't make it. Well, that's it. Thanks for joining. Check out spellmasons.com or find spellmasons on Steam.